Hello everyone and welcome. Have you been looking for a great set of clippers to take care of man's best friend? Well, I think I just found you a great set right here. So let's get into it. Today we're going to be looking at the Omark Professional Dog Clippers or the 24 volt motor. Now I got these clippers for a friend of mine, but before I give it to him, I wanted to share it with you guys. I know some of you are pet lovers and you have some pets that you consider as close as part of your family members. So I know you want to take good care of them. My friend has a dog that is a little bit on the skittish side and it's not very well socialized, so he's not been able to find anyone to take care of his dog grooming needs. Being the good friend that I am, I looked online for the best dog clippers I could find for a good price. I searched online and I found this from Omar. And this one had some very good reviews, including some from professional dog groomers. So that made it seem like a really good buy. So let's unbox this guy and see what we get. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce a new product or tool review video. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Let's see, so you get the instructions and you get everything nicely packaged inside. Let me take it out and we'll see what we get. Okay, so when you unbox everything, this is what you get. You get the unit itself, you get eight different comb attachments, you get the scissors, you get a metal comb for brushing out knots and so forth, you get the cleaning brush, and you get a blade cover to keep it protected when it's not in use. Now this retails for $32.99 on Amazon. This is an Amazon purchase, link in description below. The unit is very compact. It is only about 7 inches long, about 2 inches wide, and about 2 inches in height. So very compact, very comfortable for holding it in the hand, it feels very solid, does not feel flimsy, seems like a very nice unit. And it has a power switch back here where it's very easy to reach and maneuver. We're going to be testing that in just a moment. The cord itself is 6 foot long, so it should give you plenty of cord to be able to do whatever you need to do. Now this recommends that you can use it on dogs, cats, horses, and some evil people commented on there, uh, you can use it on pigs as well. So it's good for thick or thin, curly or straight coats, whatever kind of hair uh, or coat your animal has, you should have no trouble with it whatsoever. It works up to a maximum of 7,000 RPMs. It has low vibration and very low noise level. It is rated at 65 decibels. So it should be fairly quiet and not startle any animal that you're using it on. It comes in either red or silver and it has high carbon self-sharpening steel blades. So that should last for quite a long time. All right, let's talk a little bit about the accessories that come with this clipper kit. First of all, the metal comb that comes with it is a very stiff metal comb. It is non-flexing. It won't bend, twist, or anything like that. But it is rounded at the edges so you don't hurt yourself or the animal that you're dealing with. And the benefit of this is, first of all, you use this to comb the animal first before you start clipping so that you can clear out any knots or clumps or matting or anything like that before you actually go through and trim the hair, the fur, the coat that you're dealing with. Because you don't want to have any knotting or clumping or anything like that because as you're going through and attempting to clip it or trim it or whatever, uh, you don't want it to snag on the clippers and cause, uh, you know, either pulling or cause the animal some pain. So you don't want to do that. Always go through and comb it first and get rid of any imperfections and then you can go through and have a much smoother job when you're working on them. Secondly, the eight combs that come with it are for adjustable different sizes of how thick or thin you want to cut the fur, the hair, the coat of the animal you're working with and they're all different sizes and they're all different colors. That way they're easy to identify which one you want to work with and which one gave you the best results last time, whatever the case may be. And you may use different ones at different parts of the body depending on the animal that you're working with. And how they work is very, very easy. You take the clippers, you see how they have a little notch back here to uh, attach it to. They have a little notch built in back here as well. You just set it on the clippers and snap it in place and you're good to go. And that's it right there. Then you're off and trimming and everything is done very easily. When you need to take it off, pull on the little tab, comes right off. Easy cleaning, no problem at all. And the kit comes with a little tiny uh, brush to clean off when you're done. But if that brush is not big enough for you or you lose it, you break it, whatever the case may be, just use an old toothbrush. 
as long as it's a clean toothbrush, well, you can even use a brand new one if you want to. Use the toothbrush, clean all this stuff up. Always clean it before you put it away because you don't want to have any mold, mildew, or any of that uh, building up on it. So always clean and oil the machine before you put it away. Okay, so I moved everything aside. Let's do a sound test now and see exactly how quiet or noisy this unit really is. It's rated at 65 decibels, which is very reasonable, very quiet. But I know you can't tell on the audio of the video because most camera microphones will attenuate or change audio. So therefore, I have a visual representation to see what it really sounds like. I have a decibel meter app on my phone here. Let's see exactly how quiet or noisy it comes in. And for comparison, I have another unit right here. This is my beard trimmer that I use all the time. This is made for humans. How noisy is it? Let's compare the two and find out. So first, we'll do the human beard trimmer. And you have the uh, app going right there. Let's see how noisy it is. Okay, there you saw how noisy the beard trimmer is. Now, let's plug in this unit and see exactly how quiet this one is. There you go. Much quieter than the one made for humans. Obviously, for humans, it doesn't matter how noisy it is. They don't care. But for an animal, you want it to be nice and quiet and low vibration so it doesn't scare the animal when you're trimming its uh, hair, coat, whatever it is you're working on. So obviously a very good unit right there. And one thing also that I forgot to mention, this unit has an adjustable head. You can see this lever right there. And the head, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, it is adjustable. It goes up and down as you move that lever. So it is adjustable, again, making it easier for you to work on any type of hair, coat, fur, whatever it is that you're working on. So how does it really work? I don't have an animal to test it on, but I'm going to be the guinea pig right here. Let's test it on my arm and see what it can do. I'm going to find out right now how, how much damage can it do? Will it work? What does it do? Let's find out. Let's see right here. I'm going to shave my arm. There you go, look at that, look at that. Nice straight line right there, shaved it, no problem, no bleeding, no problem at all. Very simple unit, I can tell you, no vibration, and it took it off right there, I don't know if you can see that. Very nice, no vibration, I, I barely even felt it. Any animal would be satisfied to have that uh, run on them because you don't even feel it at all. Anyway, so there you go, guys. A nice clipper for you guys. I'm gonna give this to my friend, I know he's gonna enjoy it and appreciate that I'm such a good friend to him. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.